Alrighty folks, we are back. It is the living room pattern. And I am in the uh, house of Connor in Port O'Connor, Texas. And this is the aftermath of the tropical storm last night. Seems as though everything looks okay. Lagoon is still pretty full over there. So I'll take a little ride around town. We'll check it out. Alright, sit tight. Alright, here's another shot of the uh, place we're staying at. And uh, we got that storm came through last night. Probably about a 50 mile an hour wind. And man, the eye of that thing came right over us from about 10 o'clock. Oh, I don't know, 11 o'clock. It was just dead calm, silent out here. So, I'm going to take a little ride around town, see what it looks like. I don't think it's going to be too bad. The storm surge didn't come up it that bad, so we'll just see what it looks like. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to do a little ride around Port O'Connor and uh, give y'all an update on the status of Port O'Connor. We'll probably go out to the little jetty and the beachfront where the pier's at and I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee right now up here at Speedy Stop. So maybe breakfast taco. Junior's still asleep. We played dominoes and had some adult refreshments last night till the wee hours and rode the storm out. So we survived. I am alive. All right, good morning everybody. YouTube is in no way affiliated sponsoring or endorsing. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Stay tuned. All right, we're at Speedy Stop. Time for a little Texas pecan coffee and a couple of sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits this morning. So done run in and run out and heading down to the next spot to take a look at what's going on around here. All right, y'all sit tight. All right, we're just driving on through the community here and heading towards the beach and the pier and a uh, little jetty and uh, see no signs of real damage other than some palm trees have lost some of their dead limbs. Uh, no other damage that I could see so that 40, 50 mile an hour winds didn't really hurt the, hurt the city too much here, the little community. So we're gonna drive on down, make a block, pull out over here at the beach see what it looks like cut across here somewhere uh, let's see everybody in this community has a golf cart usually on nice days you'll see these streets are just full of people riding up and down with their little golf carts and uh, pretty nice little community pretty much a fishing and hunting community uh, duck hunting's big down here, and a lot of little weekend retreats for a lot of people. All right, here we are, folks. This is what's uh, known as the beach. Uh, this is usually a big sand flat going out there a bit, and it's a little bit high. It's underwater, but not too, too bad. Not too, too bad at all. There's the big pier. And it's pretty shallow at the end of that pier, so the fishing is not great there. But uh, it's usually a pretty nice little place to come and hang out, bring your kids if you got kids, uh, try a little fishing. Thought about trying some blocker gigging out there on that flat when the tide's high enough, but I don't have the setup for that just yet. Got some folks out there hanging out already this morning. Again, I'm glad to see no damage in the little town. Somebody out there walking the, the beach looking for something of value. Treasure hunters. Anyways, Port O'Connor, man. This is the place it used to be where there was a big port here. And then it went up to Indianola right up the way. And hurricane took it out so I guess they kind of gave up on this being a big port city and turned it into a fishing community too many hurricanes too close to the Gulf 
All right, I'll get back to y'all in just a second. Some beautiful houses down here though, ain't they though? Someday when I grow up, I'll have me one of those. All right, we're at the jetty, the little baby jetty. And uh, here it is. It's a little bit high. The top of the jetty is not quite sticking out of the water. As you can see, it's just under the water and there's a little cut right here at the front. coastal canal uh, this spot right here at the base can be really hot so I'm anticipating good fishing here this morning probably get junior up and come back over here in a little bit uh, you can see the weed line here where apparently during the night the water did come up quite a bit but right now looks good looks really good Thanks for y'all uh, watching and checking out my video. Please hit the like button if you liked it. All right. Y'all know what we say. This is the living room panner and later taters.